Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation to our series on Spark interview question, today we'll see what is the difference between reduce and fold. These are the two transformations provided in the Spark world. Let's see what is the difference between the two and how they are used. So guys, let's start. Uh, reduce uh, is an operation which will combine the elements of your RDD or data frame together in parallel for the functionality you are trying to achieve. For example, here we are trying to do the summation of the, you know, uh, for this list or say uh, elements in your RDD or data frame. Reduce assumes that whatever functionality you are trying to achieve with reduce, it by default uh, has the property of commutative and associative. Uh, for example, sum. So it, it reduce, assume that these two properties are true for any functions you are trying to, <coughs> you know, any uh, math, uh, mathematical or arithmetic uh, function you are trying to achieve through reduce. Fold on the other hand is same as reduce, but the only difference is it needs an initial value. It needs a seed value. So here commutative properties uh, is not assumed to be present. And uh, the initial value provided to the fold should be the identity element for your operation. That means applying that value multiple times with your function should not change. For example, if I'm doing a summation, my initial value could be zero. If I add zero multiple times to the actual values, it will not cause any difference to the eventual result. Similarly, another example could be if I'm trying to do a multiplication over the element of data frames using a fold, then my initial value could be one. So if I multiply one multiple times with the function, it will the result would not be changed. So this is a, how you write a fold. You have given a here initial value. It should be zero here in case of summation. So if you try to understand fold, fold is a pattern like you have to provide as an input an initial value a way to combine your stuff with initial value like your actual function, summation, multiplication or whatever and the collection of values, a data frame or a RDD and the output would be the combined stuff. If it's a summation, you have the added value and stuff like that. While if we look at reduce, reduce the only difference obviously we do not have initial value. Uh, you will have to supplement it with the way to combine stuff, which is your functionality and definitely the collection of data and output would be combined stuff. Uh, fold needs a starting element to be provided. However, reduce will automatically take first element of your collection or sequence as the starting point. So that quite of uh, the, the kind of uh, equivalent from that angle but uh, I mean it does make reduce more compact that you don't have to provide the initial value but with fold you have the ab ability to provide different start elements which can result in the change of the operation so there you have an extra control to provide any kind of start element value uh, which obviously is not the case with reduce and however like at this point to understand the you know things what are the favorable conditions for fold is when you come out of the simple arithmetic operations and try to do some kind of complex binary operations right for example we have, we have taken example here where we are trying to do the create a set with the a set of integers by doing the uh, summation operation on the list of values so if you see if i'm doing a fold left I'm creating, I'm trying to produce a set of integers uh, by doing the addition of all the values in the list. This is how it would be. So it did the left addition. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 with the seed value. 
right you are given an empty set as the seed value in it right this example so the idea the what we are trying to assume what we are trying to say is that uh, as here you have given a different initial value which has changed your entire operation so that's the uh, you know additional advantage with fold that we can uh, perform much more complex operations and change the operations based on the initial value uh, so guys that's it in this particular video where we have charted out the difference between the reduce and fold have a good day bye